Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. In a previous video, I showed you how to make core separations from this burl to get three bowls out of one burl. In that video, I promised that I would show you how to turn these bowls once they are separated. The biggest bowl is pretty easy. You just leave it in the chuck and uh, turn the outside and the inside to a pleasing surface with a constant wall thickness. I sanded it with 80, 120, and 180 grit sandpaper and put a coat of water locks on it. I will now remove this from the chuck. Later, I'll turn it around and vacuum chuck it to turn the base. I'll show you how to do that. But we're going to first turn our attention to the other two bowls. The smallest one that we separated out was easy. I turned a chucking recess in it before I started the cone separation. And I will be able to simply to put that over the jaws of this chuck and hold it while I turn it as you would a normal bowl. I'll put a chucking recess in it, turn it around, and turn the interior. The medium size bowl I'm going to do completely with vacuum chucks and I'll show you how that works. Let's get to work. I've chucked the smallest bowl on a large stronghold chuck, turned it to a pleasing shape mimicking the larger bowl, and turn a chucking recess for a smaller talon chuck that's more suitable to the size of this small bowl. I will now remove it from this chuck, turn it around, and turn the inside. I've turned our smallest bowl to its final shape, trying to retain as many as the defects in this piece as I can. The only thing left to do is turn away the chucking recess in the bottom right here. We'll do that later with a vacuum chuck. I've mounted the largest of the Holdfast system vacuum chucks. They're a reasonably priced a series of vacuum chucks. This is the 8 inch size, here is the 6 inch size, and they make a small 3.5 inch size. You really can't go under that size because you don't get enough holding power with anything smaller. To use a vacuum chuck you need a vacuum source, which I have down here on the floor. It's a vacuum pump, but you can get inexpensive Venturi units that will hook to an air compressor. Holdfast offers such a Venturi unit. And they make the whole thing pretty reasonable. By plugging this plug in, we've started our vacuum pump. I over here have a valve that will control the amount of vacuum I have. And we're now going to mount the medium bowl in this series. I have put some epoxy in the checks in this to minimize vacuum leakage. And with a set of dividers, I roughly found the center where I cone separated this. I'll now just bring the tailstock up and I'll catch that divider mark. I'll put a little pressure on that. You can hear the change in the motor. And there I'm pulling about 19 inches of mercury, so I have a good vacuum. We can now begin to turn the outside of this bowl. I'm starting out kind of cautiously here. I'm going to bring the speed up a little. We're running about 500-600 RPMs. I'm going to take very light, careful cuts here. I've now turned the inside of this, sanded everything smooth, and put a coat of finish on it. We now need to transfer it to one of the vacuum chucks to turn the base and remove all traces of chucking. It's a good point to decide whether we're going to use the 8-inch chuck, which is a little large, actually, for this situation. The 6-inch chuck is a much more reasonable size choice, 
And you always want to be looking that you're going to get good compliance between the seals and your bowl. And baby chuck, it would work too, but it's a little too small. You always want to lose, use as large a chuck as you can because you get more holding power that way. We'll put those aside, and now we'll take this off, leaving it on the chuck. We're unscrewing it from the lathe. And we're going to put our hold fast vacuum chuck on the spindle. And we're going to get out this nifty adapter right here, which I have in a two to three sleeve because I have a number three uh, Morse taper in my tailstock. And that just screws right into our chuck. You can get these adapters in any spindle thread size. And we can just now put that in the tailstock. And we can bring that right up like that. Put just a little bit of pressure on it. And now we'll start up the vacuum pump. You saw that pull that right down on the chuck. We'll get out our chuck key. There we have that running dead center. We can now turn that away and we'll have a finished bowl. And there. We have a finished bowl with no trace of chucking. With baby bowl, I couldn't get a vacuum with the six inch chuck, so I've gone down to the three and a half. The reason is there's some checks and bar conclusions that are leaking. So I'll simply bring that up, a little bit of pressure. I'm pulling 28 inches of mercury, so I have a really good vacuum here. And again, you can see this is running very true. And there, baby bowl is finished to perfection. With Papa Bowl, we have a really good vacuum. We have 30 inches, and I've gone to the largest chuck now for this one. For the smallest bowl, I had to go to the smallest chuck, so the chucks have sort of matched the bowls in this exercise. I'm now going to turn away everything to right here because this was broken out when I lost my chucking at the start of this exercise. There, we've got Papa Bowl finished. Time to take it off the chuck. So easy with vacuum. And there we have Papa Bowl, Mama Bowl, and Baby Bowl. Core separations are a lot of fun. There's a fair amount of rigmarole involved, but what you get when you're done is pretty neat. I urge you to give it a try. And a good starting size chuck in the vacuum is a six inch, or if you have a, uh, a one inch spindle, even the three and a half is a very useful chuck. When you turn on these chucks, you do feel a little bit of movement because of the resilience of the rubber. And it's a little unnerving at first, but once you get used to it, it's fine. I like to have the vacuum gauge where I can glance at it occasionally and see that I'm holding my vacuum and if you see it starting to fall you want to investigate. Vacuum chucking is very useful. I've actually turned a fair number of large platters entirely with vacuum chucking. Give it a try. A lot of fun. Thanks for visiting.